pi is a fundamental mathematical constant that represents the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter. It was first calculated by the ancient Greek mathematician Archimedes. The Greek letter pi, which is the first letter of the Greek word perimetros, meaning circumference. It was discovered by Archimedes of Syracuse, a Greek mathematician, physicist, engineer, inventor, and astronomer. Pi is used extensively in mathematics, physics, engineering, and many other scientific fields to calculate the properties of circles, spheres, and and other circular or spherical objects. It is an irrational number, meaning its decimal representation never ends or repeats. The mathematical constant E is the base of the natural logarithm, a fundamental logarithmic function. It is also known as Euler's number. It is named after the mathematician Leonard Euler, who extensively studied this constant. E is approximately equal to 2.718. The constant E is used in many areas of mathematics and science, including calculus, complex numbers, and population growth models. It represents the rate of continuous growth and is the unique base for which the derivative of the exponential function equals the function itself. The imaginary unit, denoted by the symbol i, is a mathematical constant representing square root of negative 1. The concept of the imaginary unit was developed over time by various mathematicians as a way to represent and work with square roots of negative numbers. It is a foundation of complex number theory, which is essential for many areas of mathematics, physics, and engineering, such as electrical engineering and quantum mechanics. Complex numbers, which combine real and imaginary parts, have numerous applications in these fields. Complex numbers that include the imaginary unit i are written in the formula a plus bi, where a is a real part and b is the imaginary part. The square root of 2 is a fundamental mathematical constant, also known as Pythagoras' constant. Square root of 2 represents the length of the diagonal of a square with side length 1. The special number, which is approximately equal so 1.4142 was first studied in depth by the ancient Greek mathematician Pythagoras and his followers. The square root of 2 is an irrational number, meaning its decimal representation never ends or repeats. Despite its seemingly simple definition, square root of 2 has profound implications in various fields, including geometry, trigonometry, and physics. In fact, this constant appears in many important mathematical theorems and formulas such as the Pythagorean theorem. Theodorus's constant refers to the square root of 3, which was studied by the ancient Greek mathematician Theodorus of Cyrene. Theodorus proved that the square roots of numbers that are not perfect squares, such as the square root of 3, are irrational numbers. The numerical value of square root of 3 is approximately 1.732, but its decimal representation extends infinitely without repeating. In 2013, square root of 3 had been computed to at least 10 billion decimal places. The square root of 3 is used extensively in mathematics, geometry, and physics. For example, it appears in the formula for the volume of a regular tetrahedron. The golden ratio, represented by the Greek letter phi, is approximately equal to 1.618 and is defined as a ratio where the ratio of the whole to the larger part is equal to the ratio of the larger part to the smaller part. In other words, if you have a line segment divided into two parts, the golden ratio describes the perfect proportion where the longer part is to the shorter part as a whole line is to the longer part. This unique ratio has been observed in many natural phenomena, from the spiral patterns of seashells to the branching of trees. It is also widely used in art, architecture, and design, as a golden ratio is often considered to be an aesthetically pleasing proportion. The golden ratio is an irrational number, meaning its decimal representation goes on forever without repeating, and it is closely related to the Fibonacci sequence, another important mathematical concept. If you want to remember what you've learned from this or any other video, head over to studygeniuspro.com to quiz yourself. I've included a quiz for this video in the description. If you complete the quiz with 70% or more correct answers, you'll be able to create your own quizzes using auto-generation and summaries for absolutely free, without needing to sign up. You can create and play multiplayer quizzes from any text, article, or YouTube video. The quality is amazing, and I have tried myself before recommending to you guys. Thank you to StudyGeniusPro.com for sponsoring this video. Gamma is an Euler's constant, or the Euler Mascheroni constant. It is approximately equal to 0.5772, and this constant appears in various areas of mathematics, especially in number theory and analysis. It is defined as a limiting difference between the harmonic series and the natural logarithm. Euler's constant is not known to be rational or irrational, and its exact nature remains an open question in mathematics. The first Feigenbaum constant, denoted by the Greek letter A or alpha, is a number that has approximately a value of 4.669, and this constant was discovered by the mathematician Mitchell Feigenbaum in the late 1970s. 
The first Feigenbaum constant is a fundamental quantity that describes the universal behavior of certain types of nonlinear systems such as the logistic map as they transition from a stable, periodic behavior to a chaotic, unpredictable behavior. It helps us understand the universal patterns and behaviors that emerge in complex, nonlinear systems. It is a key concept in the study of chaos theory, which is a study of how small changes in initial conditions can lead to dramatically different outcomes over time. The second Feigenbaum constant has a value of approximately 2.502. This constant describes a ratio between the width of a tine or a branch and the width of one of its two subtines except the tine closest to the fold in the bifurcation diagram of certain nonlinear dynamical systems. Like the first Feigenbaum constant, the second constant is a universal quantity that describes the behavior of a wide class of nonlinear systems as they transition to chaos. While the first Feigenbaum constant describes the rate of period doubling, the second constant describes the geometric scaling of the bifurcation intervals. Together, these two constants provide a quantitative description of the universal route to chaos observed in many nonlinear dynamical systems. Apery's constant is a value of the Riemann zeta function evaluated at the argument 3. It has an approximate value of 1.202. The Riemann zeta function, denoted by s, is a function of a complex variable s that generalizes the harmonic series. It is defined like this. When s equals 3, the series converges to Apéry's constant. It is a special value of the Riemann zeta function, which is a fundamental function in number theory, and has deep connections to the distribution of prime numbers. Apéry's constant is an irrational number, meaning it cannot be expressed as a ratio of two integers. This was proven by the French mathematician Roger Apéry in 1979, and the exact value of 3 is not known, but it can be approximated using various series expansions and numerical methods. Conway's constant. It is a mathematical constant that arises in the study of the look and say sequence, a mathematical sequence discovered by the renowned mathematician John Conway. The look and say sequence is generated by repeatedly describing the previous term in the sequence. For example, the sequence starts with the term 1, and each subsequent term is obtained by reading the previous term. The first few terms of the sequence are 1, 11, 21, 1211, and um, some very long numbers. The constant lambda is the exponential growth rate of the length of the terms in this sequence as the sequence progresses. The value of lambda is approximately 1.303, and it is an irrational number, meaning it cannot be expressed as a ratio of two integers. It has connections to other areas of mathematics, such as the theory of dynamical systems and the study of certain types of fractals. Hinchin's constant, denoted by k, was proven by the Russian mathematician Alexander Hinchin in 1934. Definition of Hinchin's constant is, let x be a continued fraction expansion, where a sub 0 is an integer, and a sub 1, a sub 2, and a sub 3 are positive integers. Hinchin proved that for almost all real numbers x, with respect to Lebesgue's measure, the geometric mean of the partial denominators a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, and so on, up to a sub n, converges to a constant k as n goes to infinity. Its value is approximately 2.685, and Hinchin's constant k is an irrational number, but it is not known whether it is transcendental. While k is known to exist for almost all real numbers, it has not been rigorously proven for any specific real numbers, including pi, e, and Hinchin's constant itself. The glacier Kinkillin constant is a real number approximately equal to 1.282. It is named after the mathematicians James Glacier and Adolf Kinkelin, who independently studied and calculated this constant in the late 19th century. The glacier kinkelin constant appears in various mathematical and physical formulas, often in connection with a gamma function. It is closely related to the asymptotic behavior of the gamma function, which is a fundamental function in the mathematics with applications in probability, statistics, and physics. The exact value of the constant is not known, but it can be approximated to high precision using computational tools. The zero is a fundamental concept in mathematics that represents the absence of quantity or magnitude. It is one of the most important and widely used constants in various branches of mathematics and science. It is the additive identity, meaning that when added to any number, it leaves the number unchanged. For example, 5 plus 0 is 5, and 0 plus negative 3 equals negative 3. The zero constant is an integral part of number systems, such as integers, rational numbers, real numbers, and complex numbers. 
In algebra, the zero constant is used in equations, inequalities, and various algebraic operations. In calculus, the zero constant is used in limits, derivatives, and integrals, often as a reference point for comparison. In geometry, the zero constant is used to represent the origin of a coordinate system, or the absence of length, area, or volume. And in physics, the zero constant is used to represent the absence of a physical quantity such as temperature, energy, or potential. Aleph null is a cardinal number in set theory that represents the cardinality or size of the set of natural numbers 1, 2, 3, and so on. It is the first transfinite cardinal number and is used to describe the size of infinite sets. Aleph null is closed under addition, multiplication, and exponentiation. For example, Aleph null plus Aleph null equals Aleph null, and Aleph null times Aleph null equals Aleph null, and Aleph null to the power of Aleph null is Aleph null. Aleph null can also be used to compare size of infinite sets. For example, the set of rational numbers has the same cardinality as a set of natural numbers Aleph null, while the set of real numbers has a larger cardinality of 2 to the power of Aleph null. Aleph null is used in Cantor's diagonal argument, which proves that a set of real numbers has a larger cardinality than the set of natural numbers. Catalan's constant is a well-known mathematical constant that is defined by the infinite series and it looks like this. It is named after the Belgian mathematician Eugene Charles Catalan, who first gave an equivalent series and expressions in terms of integrals for this constant. Catalan's constant commonly appears in estimates of combinatorial functions and in certain classes of sums and definite integrals. It is not known whether Catalan's constant is a rational or irrational number, which is an open problem in mathematics. Over the years, the number of known digits of Catalan's constant has increased dramatically from 16 digits to 1,832 to over 1 trillion digits as of 2022. Efficient algorithms and formulas such as those discovered by Ramanujan and Broadhurst have enabled the rapid computation of Catalan's constant to high precision. Catalan's constant has the applications in various areas of mathematics, including number theory, combinatorics, and mathematical physics. Comment down below your favorite branch of mathematics, and I'm going to have to go with arithmetic simply because, well, it's quite the simplest. Remember to take the quiz and score over 70% to get 10 free quizzes automatically generated from the videos and articles you choose.